हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर लैंग्वेज टीचर तनवी न्यूरिंग गिविंग योर वॉम वेलकम इन टूडेज इंग्लिश क्लास स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वंडरफुल पोएम विद अ सटल मैसेज बट बिफोर वी बिगिन लेट मी आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन कैन यू जस्ट रिकॉल द लास्ट टाइम वेन यू सैट अंडर अ ट्री एंड रिलैक्स यू ऑब्जर्व एन आर्मी ऑफ एंड हमिंग ऑफ बीज the vibrant colorful rainbow and when was the last time you gazed at the sky during night guessing the constellations i guess most of you would answer with the deep sigh long back probably a year or more but why what stops you from enjoying this mysteries of nature you would definitely see lack of time so what kind of life we are living and what kind of life we want to live this contradiction in both can be better understood with these pictures students as you can see in this picture this is a crowded city life we all are living we all are so busy in all the all the occupations that we do we are earning and spending running a cats race whereas in the other picture you can see the nature in its bounty which soothes our mind and soul as you can see as it, nature has got tremendous healing power yet unfortunately we are so busy that we have no time no time to spend in the company of nature and that is why the poet william henry davis has written the poem ledger he talks about the kind of life we are living ignoring the beauty of nature So students let's study this wonderful poem ledger which is written in seven rhyming couplets in a very serious tone and yet it is so very appealing the poet william henry davis begins his poem with a rhetorical question where he says what is life full of care we have no time to stand and stare in the beginning he complains about the human hustle life he comments on man's too much engrossment in the worldly affairs he he says our life is only full of care full of care means stress yes anxiety and we are so much busy in our stressful life completing this or that work that we don't get time to stand and take a pause and to uh, live in the company of nature the next lines read no time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as the sheep and cows here he wants to say due to our busy schedule we are not able to find time to stand under the green trees and relax and just stare as long as the sheep or cows means this common animals are better than us because they spend more time in the company of nature next he says no time to see when woods we pass where squirrels hide their nuts in grass here he points out the fact that our too much busyness makes us ignore the wonderful things happening around us like the squirrels when we pass through woods when we pass through uh, woods we miss out uh, those tiny creatures in their own world like the squirrels are hiding their food storing it for winter days so we are missing out all these fun the next lines read no time to see in broad daylight streams full of stars like stars at night here he wants to say in our busy life we ignore the bright sunlight water bodies like rivers ponds streams 
is where the water sparkles brilliantly just like the twinkling stars at night david says no time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet how they can dance in these lines he has personified nature as a young beautiful girl and this beautiful girl is dancing gracefully that means uh, nature is at its bounty yet our busyness makes us ignore all these all all the graceful dance which is performed by this young beautiful girl that means nature next he says no time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile her eyes began here he wants to say that this girl who is oh, this beautiful girl who is dancing gracefully at the same time she is smiling brilliantly now uh, that smile which has begin from her eyes and uh, that is reaching to her uh, lips we are missing that smile that means uh, all the all the wonderful things in nature we are missing out just uh, because of our busyness the concluding lines of the poem are a poor life this is if full of care we have no time to stand and stare here david regrets he says ki this the life that we are living is really pathetic it's really miserable if it is full of care and we have no time it's really a great uh, sorrow that we have no time to take a pause and look at the nature around us i hope students you enjoyed the poem in the next class we will uh, we, we we will study more about the poem the rhyme scheme as you can see the rhyme scheme the rhyming words figures of speech and the question answers thank you have a nice